Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. We're out at the Bushcraft Base Camp. And today we're gonna to be talking about this, which is the Tops A-Club. We're gonna compare this to a bunch of other chopping tools that I've tested out and used over the years. And we'll give you a chance to see if this fits into your wilderness survival, outdoors, camping, hiking systems. So let's talk about the designer first. The designer is Amanda K. Um, I met her at SHOT Show a couple years ago, right after this design was first released. It wasn't actually public yet as far as being on the market, but they had finished the prototypes and they were promoting it at SHOT Show. Um, this thing, as you can see, I mean, it's got a very interesting look and feel. You've got some sort of machete features. You have a little functionality like a kukri. It's definitely a chopper overall. You can use it for some smaller tasks as well. So yeah, I mean, I think there's kind of a cool story in that Amanda Kay is the first female knife designer ever for Tops. Um, and then the fact that it's just a unique looking tool, I think that adds a little something to it. So this has got some similarities as far as the look to like the Gunstock War Club, um, known to be used by Native Americans. So when you take that and you take uh, the kind of history of it, the uniqueness of the fact that it's the first female designer, and then just the overall look, I think that there's some things that may stand out to people that say, yeah, I may be interested in getting one of those as far as a, uh, like I said, a wilderness survival camping outdoors tool. Some of your details here, 1095 high carbon steel is the, uh, the steel that they're using, 17.88 inches from end to end. Your actual blade is 12.38 and your cutting edge is 12.13 inches. Your thickness is 0.19 inches, which is going to give you um, some interesting functionality and different functionality than say, like the Topps El Chete or something like that. So a little bit thinner, definitely a strong, a strong tool nonetheless. Uh, Rockwell hardness is between 56 and 58. And then you have these micarta handles right there. Your weight is 23.8 ounces. With the sheath, it's about 33 ounces. Let's give you a look at it from end to end. You gotta be careful because you got so many edges here. So obviously you have a very serious tip there for piercing. You've got one angle here and then the sweep. So there's a look at that big sweep. It says A club there. Green canvas micarta, nice big lanyard hole. We'll talk about that in a minute. The handles, I would say, are like a medium thickness. Sometimes Tops has really thick handles, I would call like a large thickness, and then they have something thinner. Um, if the Silent Hero works for you, this is definitely gonna be bigger. If you like something like the um, Delta Class Steel Eagle, um, I reviewed that probably a year or so ago, that's definitely thicker than this, so it's kind of right in between those two. Obviously, you can see the steel there, full tang for this tool. All right, let me show you the sheath here real quick. So this is similar to some of their other larger cutting tools. In particular, I'm thinking of the El Chete. Um, it's open on the top, and then you have your uh, one directional snap system. So if you try to just randomly pull it, it's not, going to, um, it's not going to pop open. You have to pull it in the right direction. Let me roll in a little footage here of me with it actually on my belt so you can see what that looks like. Uh, very comfortable. It's definitely gonna move freely when you're using it, which is good. I don't think you want something like this really, you know, getting stuck on your leg if you're trying to climb over things. Um, if you wanted it to be really secure because you weren't gonna be maybe bending your legs that much as far as you were just gonna be walking around not having to crawl over things, uh, you do have plenty of attachment points here on the bottom so you could run some paracord through that and then loop it around your leg if you wanted to. So I've had this for about a month and I've used it in a variety of different ways. I wanna show you some of the footage from maybe two weeks ago when I was testing out the A-Club. Other side, stay over there.
All right, so you've seen some footage of the A-Club in use. And let me tell you, the biggest challenge for me was just the length of the handle. The thickness is actually quite good for me. I have large size hands, um, but I'd like it to be a little bit longer. So um, I wanted to test it without using a lanyard. Now I've put a lanyard on it, and I can tell you as soon as I did that, I'm like, absolutely, yes, I'm really liking this thing. So let me show you what it looks like in use with the lanyard on, just to kind of maybe you can get a, a, a look at my hand and see how I'm gripping it. But I can tell you with the lanyard, I've got really good control of it. And it, I mean, it, it worked well before, but now with the lanyard on it, I have really good control and it's, it's super solid, a great chopping tool. All right, so what I'm doing for this is I'm running my hand through the lanyard and then spinning it twice. And then the third time, it gets pretty tight, but this will stretch a little bit. Now I can actually grip on the back portion. I could put my hand up here if I wanted to, but I can grip on the back portion and there's enough tension there that it's not bothering me. So I'm, I'll, I'll clip these off and, um, and uh, burn the ends, you know, so they're not fraying all over the place, but really good control at this point. I'm trying to be a little cautious because there's granite ever around here. I don't want to hit the blade on that. So as far as cutting, I mean, obviously you can chop anywhere here. You're gonna get the most power probably on this flat edge up to maybe two inches back. So I'm trying to get it right in that sweet spot. Now, this is not really a wilderness task, but just to show you that it can cut things like cardboard and do some more utility tasks. Maybe you're just using it around the yard or outside something, whatever. Obviously it comes nice and sharp. And this is with me having already used it quite a bit. So just to show you, you know, stab in and then drag. You can do that as well. And just cut this. Not a precision tool, but it'll still do the job quite well here. All right, you've seen the A-Club in use. Let me offer some thoughts on this tool. First off, let's talk about the handle. I think if you have small to medium-sized hands, it's gonna be great. Both gripping it back here for more aggressive chopping and then also up here. Um, the jimping, Whatever size hands you have, um, I would call it like medium to mild. It's definitely not very aggressive, but you do feel like you have a little bit more control when you've got your uh, got your thumb resting there. Um, you throw a lanyard on it for small, medium, or large size hands. I think you're going to get obviously more control, more lock in. Um, if you have large size hands, I think you're almost definitely going to want to put a lanyard on this. And you know, there's lots of different ways to set a lanyard up, but even just like I, like I did here, put a knot put your hand through, loop it a couple times till you have that tension, then you can really lock in. And again, you can hold it like this to chop when you've got the lanyard on or with your finger, your first finger in that groove. The width for me is, um, it's a tiny bit thinner than what I would say is perfect, but it's really good. Um, again, large size hands, I've mentioned this a bunch of times, but tops knives sometimes are just too small for my hands. So I think the width is actually quite good. I think the main question people are going to have is about the functionality and this versus some of the other tools out there. So let's talk about those other tools right now. All right, let's first compare the A-Club to the Topps Kukri or Kukri knife. Uh, one of the things I love about the Kukri, this is one of my top five favorite knives, uh, survival knives, chopping tools out there. Um, so I've talked about this before, but when you're chopping, based on where the ergonomics of your hand where your hand is most comfortable right about here. So when you're chopping because of that belly, that swelled out portion, you can actually hit on the wood and chop it without your hand having to be awkwardly shaped like that, that you would have to have for some other tools. Now this is similar for the A-Club, except instead of a curved belt, you've got that flat. So you're gonna have to get a little bit more used to, you've got a little bit more kind of, um, there's more leniency with this belly because of the sweep as opposed to, so you gotta hit it on the flat spot here or the curve here. If you hit it right there on that point, it's not gonna cut as effectively. But you do have kind of that similar feature in that when you're swinging it, you know, if this was a straight edge, your hand would have to just be more awkwardly bent. Whereas with the way the angles are, you can chop down on this and really, um, you can hit that wood with a lot of force here or here. So I think there's definitely an advantage to that. Now I didn't check the weight on the Kukri purposefully because I just want to compare it by feel. And I would say they feel very similar as far as the weight. 
obviously you've got a much bigger tool with the a club compared to the kukri some you know some different advantages and pluses minuses based on the size of it but it definitely that you don't hold this and go wow that's really heavy compared to the uh, the tops kukri so if you want something that's a little bit more unique maybe um that's got a longer cutting edge and just has that this one has the you know multiple not it's not sharp angles but it's got a sweep and then it comes back whereas this one you just got that big sweep so yeah i think this this has some similarities to the tops kukri knife now often when you think of tops and chopping tools you're going to think of this guy right here the el chete one of my favorite tools of all time um you do have this is not just a flat straight edge you do have a little bit of a sweep there a little bit of a bend in the blade but not nearly as much as the uh as the a club so uh, again weight wise this one's gonna be it feels a little bit heavier to me but it's not a huge difference as far as how it feels in hand um, this one just because it's closer to being a long straight edge just gonna function differently so as far as like if you're batoning you hit on this boom you're going through the wood this one you got to finesse a little bit because of that sweep of that blade the handle is a little bit thicker on the El Chete as opposed to the a-club this one also has the bow drill divot on both sides whereas this one doesn't um, this one to me feels more front heavy which you would probably expect you know a big chopping tool like this to be more front heavy this one feels more balanced to me so I'll say that um, I love I love the El Chete I just think it's an awesome awesome tool for so many different uses out there in the woods um, throw a lanyard on this that's definitely a win as well this one I don't need a lanyard as much as for this one I feel like I can hold this one and chop really aggressively without a lanyard it's even better with but this one I feel like I reach a certain threshold of chopping aggressively without the lanyard and I'm like yeah I want to switch to having a lanyard or something that I don't need a lanyard so again I feel like your multiple angles here like I said about the tops kukri knife um, this is giving you some different functionality than the uh, than the El Chete does but these two have both been great knives for me so far from Tops. All right, let me talk about two more knives here. First, my all-time favorite outdoor survival tool, camp tool, is the SE Hungless. I do have the Hungless too, but I still prefer this one. Um, you know, you basically have a straight edge, and then it's going to come together at that drop point. So definitely a different look than the A-Club. Um, similar in thickness and weight. Again, pretty similar for these two guys. A more neutral and uh, thicker handle than this one. This one's got a little bit more... Uh, a couple more angles and a little bit more kind of nuance to the um, to the way they've set it up But again both really good tools um, This one I feel like can be used more easily as a chopping tool and a knife Whereas this one is much more of a chopping tool now the last one I want to show to you You probably aren't super familiar with this is called the severance. It's from three dog knife. It's from a company out in um, uh, In Alaska northern knives if I remember the name correctly, so you can see these guys are similar this one has the a club has a bigger sweep but you've got multiple angles there. This is an L-Max steel, so it's gonna keep an edge really long. This one's got that crazy, I forget what they call it, like the influencer end or something like this. This, uh, the Severance was originally designed for, I think drug interdiction, some, some uh, law enforcement or military branch, and they said, we want something that can chop through the hull of a helicopter, and so this was built for them. Uh, this is one of the most comfortable knives as far as chopping tools that I've ever held. I've never put a lanyard on this that I remember. I don't need it. It's just super comfortable in hand. Uh, like I said, this one, like a million times I've said, this one needs a lanyard for me. But similar look and feel. Um, your price point for this is going to be probably over 400 bucks, and this one's running around 300 now at the time of this video. So ultimately, who is the A-Club for? Well, I think there's a couple people who are going to really like this. Number one, if you want a unique looking outdoors, chopping, camping, survival tool, this is one to definitely consider. Secondly, if you want something that's got multiple angles on the blade, as opposed to, where's my SE Hungless? This one, you know, it's, it's pretty much, like I said, a, a large overbuilt knife. So if you want something that's got multiple angles on the blade, uh, with this, if you're chopping on something flat, you know, you can really do this, chop, 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 and it'll work effectively. You got that big sweep. So that's also uh, somebody who may be interested in it if you want multiple angles on a blade. The third thing is that if you have small to medium sized hands, I think you're really gonna like this handle. When I first picked it up and thought, this was designed for women. Women generally have smaller hands than men. I have large size hands. Um, I thought, is, you know, is it gonna work for me? But it, it does definitely work. It's comfortable, it, um, it's functional, and uh, it's a cool tool. It's definitely a cool tool. I'll be interested to see who else has thoughts on this, um, other reviews in the future. I haven't seen any other full-fledged reviews on this yet on YouTube. If you find one, please put it in a comment below. Um, I'd like to see what other people have to say about the A-Club. Overall, guys, another good product put out by Tops. They're gonna stand behind their products. They're really well made. This one's got a unique story and definitely, definitely a unique look as well. So let me hear your thoughts on the A-Club. Let's get the discussion started in the comment section down below.
Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.